and welcome to another Tech and Trains channel video and in this video I will be showing you how to add isolating sections to your layout. This tutorial will just be adding in an isolating section at the end of a platform to, to, to allow two multiple units to be parked in it at the same time on analog. We'll be using a Pico on off switch, insulating rail joiners by Pico and the mounting plates for the switch. So the first thing I'm going to do is drill a hole for the switch. Right, I have nearly finished the hole for the for the switch to go in, but my arm is aching, so I'm just going to go and do the rest of it and come back to this later. Before I do anything to the platform, I need to move all the trains out first. Right, so all trains have been moved out of platform three where I'm going to put it, and have been left as well in the layout like down here so I can get on with drilling the holes and doing it now so first I just need to open the packet and separate uh, fish plate from the pack right so I just separated one insulating fish plate from the rest and I'll go and put it on the track right so that painted triangle building marks where the insulating fish plate is going to be so I'm just gonna pull apart the track See how easily it comes apart. Okay, the part okay. Alright, and now we wanna take one of these fish plates off. Right. So you see, taking one off there. And slot the new one on. And then push the track back together. This is a bit fiddly, especially with flexible track. One goes in, the other one comes out. out. Just about done it now, I just need to push this one a bit in further. Right, and now that's done, you've got the isolating fish plate in, and now we're going to have to drill the hole. But first, we've got to move another train on the platform next to it. Dependent. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is drill the hole for the wires. measured up in there appears to be a beam under where I've drilled so I won't be able to get the wires through so I'm going to drill under the platform and then because Hornby platforms have wire outlets I'm going to feed the wire through there right so the hills are drilled so the hills are drilled and I can start laying the wire right so I just thread the wires through we got blue wire for both for both poles so we got the blue one that's popped up down here and it's also popped up over here so now we can start to join everything up just trim the ends off the wires so that we have the metal bit showing on both and now we can plug them into the track you may want to solder them on but today I'm not going to solder them on just put the platform down first to allow the because the platform has the hole in to allow the wires to come out and otherwise I'll just get it completely and utterly wrong if I don't lay the wires down the right route. So just put the platform back in and now we have the wires just poking out so we've got to do something with them. So I just swap the insulation fish plate round to the other side to make it more convenient. Right so the wires have been slotted into the track and now I just need to fix up the other end. Right, so as before, we're just going to wire it up, but this time I'm not going to slot the switch in and board because it currently just about does. 
doesn't fit. I'm going to solder all the connections later so you don't have to see me soldering because that's just a bit of a waste of time and most of you will know how to solder anyway. Um, so the switch is on, we'll just get the trains over and test it. Right, so I'm just pulling the Northern World Class 156 into the platform and then I will split it into two and show you how it works. And if it works. Right, so the class 156 is in the platform, so now is in platform 3A, so now if I flip the switch, and switch direction, turn the power up, nothing happens. So it is all working now, and then if I flip the switch again, turn the, turn the power up, it can move. So that's all from me today, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please comment, like and subscribe, and share your experiences with this on the comment section below. Thank you.